Yes, we are going on a little mission today, fellas. Nothing too fancy, just an abandoned house. Um, I was feeling lazy this week, I'm not gonna lie. But, um, you know, an abandoned place is still an abandoned place. Forget the intro, let's just go. I, d I can't really get a good view of it because there's trees around, but it's definitely abandoned and I definitely see a way in every time I drive by it. That's the only reason I knew about it to begin with. You got like brand new houses popping up right here. And then just boom, abandoned one. I'll go over there once the coast is clear. Like right now. much is it <laughs> look at how open this is but it's like nice in here like it's actually nice I keep hearing stuff over there what, what is that sound there are people right here I can't tell if the voices are coming from over in the other yard or if they're right on top of me. Let's be really quiet. My camera picks up small sounds pretty well. So you had to have heard that. It's like, this sounds like people are having like a patio party. But it has to be on one of the other neighboring houses I wonder if there's a window looking over there I can see for sure. Oh, this is just the garage. Oh, well, looky here. There wasn't like a livable upstairs, but maybe this is like a little attic space. Like, this place messes with my head. It's so weird. Like, it's so wide open. Yet, it feels like preserved almost, even though it's quite obvious that there's nothing secret about this place. What first caught my eye the few times I drove by this place was this little front section here. That's like so fancy. It made it look like a mansion, even though the place isn't too big. You got that fancy fireplace. I like the brickwork in here. Like, this place is divided off into three sections. I was just over there. The one I'm in is like the main middle one. And then there's a spot over there I haven't been to yet. But it's like divided by bricks on each side. I don't hear voices anymore. Oh, that's horrifying. You see the mirror over there? I caught my reflection coming through here. Look like someone else moving. Hi. All this weird dirt looking stuff on the floor, I'm assuming is just like mushy piece of ceiling and insulation, even though it looks like dirt. And that's just disgusting. I like the old fancy fan, look at that thing. It's pretty nice. And another bathroom. Mirror is not gonna freak me out this time. All right, I'm gonna take a peek around out here. That's really cool. So you saw the indoor fireplace and then they had an outdoor one too. Alright, you heard those voices. In my ears, it literally sounded like they were right here. Like I was in the doorway over there hearing them, they sounded like they were right on those little tire tracks. 
in the dirt. But I'm pretty sure they were just coming from one of those those neighboring houses over there in this subdivision that they're building. Let's take a closer look at these other rooms here. I like the kitchen. This is the brick I was talking about. I really like that. Little brick beams coming through. Makes it look like a little castle almost. Oh, it actually opened. Oh, can you see that? There's still a pan down there. I don't see any brownies on it though. Yeah, your computer desk chair. <laughs> I'll say this place looks pretty modern, not gonna lie. I keep trying to describe it and I'm failing miserably. It's so hard to describe, like... Maybe it's because even though it's all smashed with the roof and the doors, it almost looks like savable. You know, like if you tore out some of the old rotten walls and put in new ones, you could like save this place. That's what it seems like. Look at all those little lights up there. This place would have been so nice back in its day, I can imagine. I find this really intriguing. Is it like a mirror? Or is it just naturally reflective? That's some cool decoration. It's weird how there's like a sink over here though. Because this is like living room area. And the main kitchen's over there. Super shooter tow line. And darts. So, it would have stood right there. And they probably would have had a dart board hanging right on that door. In fact, these are probably what kept it in place. Oh, hold on. Does it work? Come on. Ah, I can't get it to pop out. So it's a reclining chair. Okay, what about this side? Yeah, nope. Actually, it, it is coming out there. See that? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Now it's ready for some relaxation. I don't exactly see enough in here to gauge exactly when it could have been abandoned. I, I know for a fact it had to be fairly recent. I mean, these trash cans here. These trash cans are the exact same kind I've got in my house. Oh my goodness. I found Tic Tacs. But nobody left me any. Looks like one paneling of door, at least on the inside, survived the attacks of whoever smashed them. You know what's weird? I could almost see this place being like some sort of, like an inn or a bed and breakfast type of place. There's the voices again. See, those sounds so close. Anyway, what I was trying to say, I could see this being like an inn or bed and breakfast. Almost. But still, I think it's a little small for that, but it's weird how there's like a doorway to the outside here, one here, one here, one here, you know? Why would a regular house need all those? Before I go, what was this little secret door? I don't think this part was any way in from inside. And it's just the, uh, the furnace and water heater thing. I think it's about time we say goodbye to this quite peculiar abandoned house of some sort. A little look at the front area before some car sees me right here. Well, folks, that was that. Hope you enjoyed, and if you want to see more bigger, crazy places, then I've got them all over this channel. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time.